Good evening to you at five tonight. Several Indianapolis Metro police officers are the focus of an investigation after a man died in their custody. Now they are on paid leave. Yeah, police were dispatched to a home on the city's northeast side just before four o'clock Monday morning. And as WRTV's Rachel Wilkerson reports, they found themselves in the middle of a delicate, tense situation. 324-354 to Matthew Marathon Place in Beat 21. 357, no answer. A call for help Monday morning by 39-year-old Herman Whitfield III's parents took a turn. His parents told IMPD their 6-foot-2, 280-pound son was having a psychosis and requested an ambulance. IMPD says Whitfield was moving around the home naked, sweating, and bleeding from the mouth. After more than 10 minutes of negotiating and using de-escalation tactics, IMPD says Whitfield quickly moved towards an officer and was tased. IMPD says the taser activated for five seconds twice. He was later double handcuffed. Medics who were waiting outside until the scene was secure went inside and found Whitfield unresponsive. Handcuffs were taken off and CPR was given. Whitfield later died at the hospital. His cause of death is pending. A neighbor who did not want to show her face says Whitfield was loved. My heart breaks for the mother and the father. You know, they were having a situation that they that was beyond their control. They call the cops and unfortunate, you know, the, the worst happens. And, you know, so my prayers, you know, really goes out to them. According to IMPD's use of force policy regarding tasers or electronic control devices, officers will, quote, attempt to target a subject below the chest or heart area or from the shoulders down on the back of a subject. In this case, IMPD says at least one of the two prongs from the officer's taser struck Whitfield in the chest. If a person is a, a potentially mental health, emotional mental health runs, or sometimes they'll verbally just come out and say that, other times you got to listen to the call. In March, we sat down with a detective on IMPD's mobile crisis assistance team. He says MCAT officers work Monday through Friday and aren't always available. 10 a.m. to 6 p.m., 9 a.m. to 5 p.m., and 8 a.m. to 4 p.m. That means MCAT was not on duty when the call about Whitfield came in. But the detective says IMPD officers are trained to intervene in a crisis. Working for you, Rachel Wilkerson, WRTV. Well, WRTV has requested the body camera footage and the 911 call recordings. IMPD says the investigation is still ongoing.